In this video we're going to be looking at how we convert from fractions to decimals to percentages. And the way around that I work it is going from fractions to decimals to percentages like this, okay, and then back to fractions again. So we're going in a anti-clockwise route around this circle. So we're going to start off with a fraction. So we're going to start off with something like uh, two-fifths. Okay, so we've got the fraction two-fifths, and we want to convert that into a decimal. So the method of converting a fraction into a decimal is by doing the, getting the top and dividing by the bottom. So taking the numerator and dividing by the denominator. So the process, I'll do that in green, is top divided by bottom. So we could do 2 divided by 5 using our short division technique. 5 into 2 goes 0 with 2 remainder. Put in the 0 and a decimal point. 5 into 20 go 4. So 2 fifths as a fraction, as a decimal, sorry, is 0 0.4. Okay? So we've now converted from a fraction to a decimal. We now want to get from the decimal to the percentage. And the process to do that is by timesing by 100. So if you multiply 0 0.4 by 100, you get 40. So that's 40%. So equivalent ways of describing um, percentages are as fractions or decimals. So 2 fifths is the same as 0 0.4, which is the same as 40%. We also want to be able to go from the percentage back to the fraction, because if we've got that process covered, then we can turn any decimal, fractional percentage into any other format. So to get from a percentage to a fraction, we write the percentage over 100. Okay, because percent mean, meant out of 100 anyway. So 40 out of 100 as a fraction. And we can see that these fractions aren't exactly the same in their current format. So we cancel down the fraction, we simplify it. You can divide top and bottom by 10. So that would be 4 over 10. And then you can divide top and bottom by 2. So you get two fifths, which is exactly what we started with. So now we have a process by which we can turn a fraction into a decimal, into a percentage, and then back into the fraction. So that if you started with a decimal, and you wanted to turn it into a fraction, you can turn the decimal into a percentage first, and then turn the percentage into a fraction. Okay, so this cycle allows you to turn them into whichever format you want.